record. Hi, Fiona Brown. Thank you for joining me today here at Yellow Shelf. Fiona, you're an author as well as the founder of Utopia Wellbeing. As an author, you yep. have a book called I Wish. I want to hand over to you and you can tell us all about your book. Oh, thank you, Joe, um, And thank you for the opportunity to have a little conversation about this because it's something that's really close to my heart and something that has been brewing inside of me, I think, for longer than I even am aware of. So uh, during COVID, I had the pleasure of co-authoring two books. And I, communication is one of the things that I, I love most, the ability to share story and teach and work with others. So during that time, I, I co-authored two books. They became Amazon number one bestsellers, which was fun. It was a great thing to do during COVID, just sit on the lounge and tippity-tap at my laptop. Yeah. But after I'd done that, I thought, yeah, oh, now I want to do this on my own. So I had this book inside me that I had been speaking about in different contexts for the last probably five years or so. Yep. So it comes from um different pulling parts of different parts of my life together so I was a nurse for 35 years so I spent years you know working with people who whose lives ended sooner than we all would have liked so people who were dying with regrets who didn't have the opportunity to fulfill all they wanted including both my parents who both died when I was in my mid-30s so there was that part of my working life. Then for the last 17 years as, as a coach and working in the personal development space, I had the opposite end of the spectrum. So I had people coming to me saying, I want to squeeze the most out of life. I want to be more, do more, have more, you know, while, while I can because what's for life if what's life for if we're not living it? So I had those two opposite ends of the spectrum and then we all know that there's cattle class in the middle. There is those people who are waking up each day, hopping on the treadmill, going to bed at night, rinse and repeat the next day. They're the wooders, the shooters, the coulders, the blamers, the victims, the people who aren't taking life by, you know, by the wheel and running with it. So I, I suppose the book is mainly for those people in the middle um, the philosophy I have behind the work that I do is I have your back, I'll hold your heart, but I'll kick you in the butt if you need it. So these are the people that maybe need a bit of a butt kicking through the words that I share in my book. Oh, I love that. That's such purpose. And so if if, if I'm a if I'm someone watching now and I'm one of those people who would have thinking about things what what advice or reflections or um what 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 should I do now like obviously besides read your book like where what if I'm that person stuck um, reflection is probably one of the most underutilized tools ever which is just in the moment stop and look at things from a different different perspective for example if I were to project my life five years from now looking back, what would I say to myself? Yeah. Or what, what what might other people advise me if, if, if for example, uh, I was saying, John, I'm not going to see you for the next five years. If you could give me a little bit of advice, what would that be? Yeah. So it's just, yeah, reflection helps us understand where we are now and what we might need to change. So that's a really good place to start. Right. Um, but in the book, and yes, it's titled I Wish, the subtitle is Five Keys for um, Living with Less Regret and More Joy. So I share five different keys with different tools to help people start to do things differently. Oh, I love that. And Fiona, if we, if we, the audience, want to connect with you, um, and I'll put this in our show notes, but what's the best way to connect with you or um, to reach out on the book? Uh, well, the, the easiest way is just <laughs> call me. <laughs> call me, email me. You know, as I That'd said, communication is really, you know, something that I value a lot. So I don't really mind how people connect with me. It's whatever is easier for them than me because I'm open to anything. So people can uh, check out my website, utopiawellbeing.com.au, 
and that's Y-O-U-topia. Um, so website, uh, email me at the same address, Fiona at utopiawellbeing.com.au. All of my details are there. The book can be found on Amazon. You can get a, um, a copy there. I, you know, I live in Port Stephens and I have copies here if you want a fresh one personally signed. Fabulous. Um, yeah, so however people want to connect, I, I'm awesome. open. Well, I will put that in our show notes. Fiona, thank you very much for your time today. Is there any more books in the future or am I preempting anything? What's what's in store? Not this year, but maybe next year. Okay. And I know what it is. It's a thread that keeps popping up in my life and it Fabulous. may come out in a book next year. Oh well look, I'll um I'll I'll connect again and we can talk next year, maybe. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Beautiful. No Thanks, Thanks so much for your time today, Fiona. No Cheers. worries. My pleasure. Bye.